Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at the pipe operator. So that's the pipe operator up here. It's a percentage sign, uh, an arrow head, and another percentage sign. And it is from the Magritte package, or Magritte. I think the R is not pronounced as strongly as one would think. And it was written by a Danish statistician called Stefan M. Bach. If I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that properly, properly but I think that's close enough. And yeah, we call it the pipe operator. So it's on the Magritte package. Okay. And so there you go. I load up the Magritte package. Uh, it just as a sort of quick remark, it is very useful uh, when working with another R package called Dplyr, which is written by Hadley Wickham. In fact, Hadley uh, Wickham, I think he's sort of more or less. Uh, proposing that everyone sort of transfers their sort of writing style to this, uh, to to using this operator. It might be I might be overstating the case there, but he's actually obviously quite a fan of it. Anyway, so what does this do? Well, let's just start off by having a look. I'm going to set up a little data set here, X, and I'm just going to put in some numbers, just random numbers there. Okay, now suppose we want to get the sum of the square roots of these numbers. How would we do that? So, sum of the square roots. So, first off, we have to calculate the square roots. Okay, and then we would sum them up. Okay, 11.8183182. Uh, Okay, now what this package does, it does things in a slightly different way. So what we could do here is first off we have get the data set X, okay. Then what we could do is we could get the square root of it. So what I'm going to do here is get the square root, okay. Actually I'll just do the square roots first there. Okay, so it takes X uh, using this pipe operator and it pipes it to the square root function if you sort of uh, are okay with that vernacular. So we can go one step further and then what we do is we sum it up. Just like that. So it's a sort of actually, if you just look at this one here, it's a sort of like a bit of like a Russian doll. Okay. First we have x, okay. Then we have the square root of x and then we have the sum of x. Okay, and these are simple enough functions. I'm going to do sort of another example here shortly where it's not uh, quite so easy. But here we can actually, if you just sort of compare contrast down here, we can sort of see the um, the logical sequence. So we start off with x. Remember this is the inside doll. Then we go to the square root of x. Okay, and then we get to sum that up. So you can sort of, sort of like see a uh, we do this, or we get this, and uh, then we do this, then we do this. It's a sort of way that you could sort of con uh, contemplate looking at what this does. It makes it much easier to read. Now, there's some very long functions here uh, that uh, you could look at that. Um, that you know, actually do you know it. Let's actually have a go. Rather than let me talk, uh, suggest one. Let's talk about it. Let's talk one. So let's consider the iris data set. And what I'm going to do here is quickly look at the summary. Okay. Now, uh, so uh, another command there. So that's the summary command. Just as a sort of quick remark, Satosa. There's 50 Satosas in the iris data set. Okay. Now, a very useful command we'll use here this time is tail of iris, and this prints out the last five. Okay. And just as a sort of quick remark, you can actually get a summary of a tail because the output of the tail command is also a data frame. Okay, so uh, and so on. Uh, what we could also do is actually subset it such that we're only dealing with cetoses. So we're dealing with uh, here. We're dealing with the last five cases of iris and getting a summary of that. Uh, but you can actually go one step further and subset it. So you're dealing with, let's say, the last five cases of. I tell you what, we'll pick. Yeah, the last five cases as it's ordered now. I don't know. We'll make it ten. The last ten cases of Satosa. So how do we do that? Well, what we got to do is we got to subset Iris such that uh, the Iris 
dot species is equal to Satosa. And what we do in the last, what did I say? Oh, we'll just stick with the last five cases of Satosa. All right, there we go. That's it again. Now, just look at this. This is, these are, these commands are actually straightforward enough, even to beginners. But if you're looking at that all together, you're thinking, that's just a bit of a mess, okay? That's really hard to read. I need, you need to sort of start in the middle and work your way out, and you can easily get lost because you like there's brackets everywhere and commas everywhere, and you have to sort of figure out what belongs to what. So it's even, this is actually quite an easy example, but even this is sort of start hard enough to read. Uh, I'm gonna completely forget how many do, and so don't worry if I switch from five to ten or eight or whatever, or first color Virginica. So what we're gonna do here is try it out again. So the iris, we're going to start with the iris, and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to subset it, okay? So subset it, uh, you can actually just go to a new line here as long as this pipe operator is at the end. Uh, subset it with iris uh, dollar sign species uh, equal to Satosa. Okay. Then what do we do? By the way, always make sure this is at the end and not starting the new line. Then what do we do? Because otherwise it's syntact syntactically complete. Uh, then what do we do? By the way, you don't need to put in iris here. Uh, you just actually have to specify the argument. Okay. And uh, okay. So then what are we going to do? We are going to get the last five items okay and I forgot to uh, do the I, I, I hit return when I should have um, uh, went on with the summary command but essentially all we have to do is the summary command of that I'll just go that that again it's already I mean you can already tell it's looking good so what do we have to do here get the summary command okay uh, what, oops typo I have to start again though. There we go. Brilliant. Okay. So, it, again, you can sort of, it actually is much more readable. Iris, what do we do? We subset it so that, so that we're only looking at the Satosas. Okay. Then what do we do? We're just taking the bottom five of what's at the output of that last argument and then what do we do we get the summary command of that very sequential very easy to read strongly recommended now by the way uh, it's I, I sort of mentioned before dplyr uh, dplyr and this is used a lot in the dplyr stuff and you could have done what I've done there with uh, dplyr but uh, I'm just sort of thinking do dplyr separately and then do magritte separately in two different presentations and sort of treat them like you haven't seen the other yet but definitely uh, you should be looking to be quite conversant at using both together uh, he also uses actually with ggplot2 as well, the uh, pipe operator. I'm going to leave it there. That's uh, some good work done.